Do you have your savings record with you? Have you opened your DMAT account yet? Are you planning to start investing with your money? Then you have come to the exact right place. In this video, we are going to be talking about the different type of stocks you can invest your savings into. So let's get into it. Okay, before you get started, let's see what exactly stocks are. Stock are basically a building block of any company and it absolutely doesn't matter if you end up buying individual stock, mutual fund or exchange traded fund. At the end of the day, all you are doing is buying a small share of the company's ownership. Now to diversify your portfolio and to build your financial knowledge, we are going to be telling you about the 10 different types of stocks that you can invest in. First comes in common stock. When you hear any investment professional talking about stocks in YouTube videos or any kind of webinars, they are usually referring to these common stocks. Common stocks are the most basic type of stocks that you can buy from the market. In fact, the overwhelming majority of stock that is issued by any company has to be common stock. If the company performs well, then sky is the limit to reach the price for these common stocks. Some common stocks also pay regular dividends but the payouts are never guaranteed. One downside of common stock is that shareholders are last in the line to be repaid if ever the company goes bankrupt. Second comes in preferred stocks. Every public company has common stocks but very few of them issue preferred stocks. These kind of stocks definitely have some advantages to the shareholders over the common stock. Preferred stock pays its holders guaranteed dividends. If companies pay dividends on common stock, then the amount of dividend on preferred stock definitely has to be higher. In addition, preferred stock shareholders also get some kind of compensation in case the company goes insolvent. The third type of stock that we'll be talking about today is Class A and Class B stocks. What some company do is that they offer different category of stocks. These stocks are often marked as Class A and Class B stocks. So how this works is one type of share, say Class A stock is issued to only the founders of the company and the key executives. And Class B of the stock would be available to the general public. Now Class A of stocks might have 10 times more voting power than stock B, giving insiders tight control over the company's business. Now you as a normal investor can definitely not buy class A of stocks, but the class B of stocks is definitely open and available for you. Class stocks and stamp your ownership on the company. On number four, we have large cap stocks. Public companies in the US with market capitalization of $10 billion and more is classified as large cap stocks. Their tremendous size and considerable influence on the market gives shareholders a lot of credibility to invest in such stocks. Large cap companies can often handle the market turbulence in a much better way than the smaller companies. The downside of large cap stocks is that the size of the company grows much in a smaller way than for the newer company. This means that an investor shouldn't expect a very high return when they are investing in large cap stocks. Moving on next, we have mid cap stocks. Companies with market capitalization between $2 billion to $10 billion come under mid-cap stocks. Mid-cap companies combine stability with more growth potential than the smaller companies. If you are somebody who have just started investing and if you are ready to take considerable amount of risk, then these type of stocks are the best suitable for your investment purpose. Therefore, you should go with these stocks and they can help you fetch unexpectedly high returns as well. Large cap done, mid cap done. Now what next? Yes, small cap stocks. Any company which has a market capitalization between 300 million to 2 billion US dollar, it comes under this category. Small cap stocks offer huge opportunity for growth for the investors. And the small cap market is filled with future mid cap and large cap companies. Also at the same time, these stocks are the riskiest stocks to invest in. Investing in small cap can look as an impressive growth, but with a potential of loss 
as well moving on from large mid and small cap stocks now let's move on to ipo stocks ipo stands for initial public offering these stocks are issued by private companies who want to launch their stocks into the public sector many investors like to chase ipo much before it is even launched in the market because they like having stock from the initial stage and this also sounds like an exciting prospect but you keep in mind that new unproven public companies aren't always a sure bet between 1975 and 2011 almost 60% of ipo started seeing a negative result after 5 years of investment if you ever want to invest in an ipo make sure that you invest a very small chunk of your portfolio into it okay now let's move on to blue chip stocks if you are somebody who is looking at steady returns and reliable dividends then you should Should invest in blue chip stocks. While there is no hard and fast definition of blue chip stocks, here are the few characteristics that these kind of stocks have. They are usually large cap company stocks with a recognized name, with a reliable history of payouts, a history of reliable performance, a track record of steady earnings, and constant dividend payouts. However, these companies are very well established. except the cost per share is usually higher and also keep in mind that blue chip stocks are not the stocks which will have rapid or fast growth okay so moving forward what's going to be the exact opposite of blue chip stocks yes penny stocks as the name suggests penny stocks have very low valuation they are very risky speculative investments that in many cases are proven outright frauds historically penny stocks as the name suggests the valuation of these stocks were always less than 1 dollar and now these prices can go as high as only 5 dollars companies behind penny stocks are always in financial trouble collapsing finances and even sometimes having no real business and they are not even listed on major stock exchange they are usually traded over the counter having small trading amount worst of all penny stocks are favorite tool of scammers so all in all we'll advise you to stay away from penny stocks all right the final category of stock that we have on our list is the esg stock esg stands for environment and social and governance it is an approach of investing where people buy stocks from the companies that exhibit only responsible corporate behavior investors who care about esg investing looks way forward and beyond just the stock market they look for the workers the community the customers and the environment esg stocks allows you to invest in companies where your personal values matches with the corporate value this type of investing shows that investing is not just about money and finance but it is also aligning with your personal goals and your lifestyle and that's going to be it these are the 10 stock categories you can find in us market you can start off with investing small amount of funds in different stocks while you gain some experience in the market the idea to diversify your portfolio is to gain maximum returns from the market all right that's it for this video and And if you have any doubts then you can reach out to the community and we'll be more than happy to help you out thank you so much for watching this video and i shall see you in the next one bye don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to our channel for more such finance driven and student centric content